waiting, Mr. Prosecutor. <laughs> Get out of my way. My plane is scheduled to take off soon. Sorry, but you're not going anywhere, Mr. Alba. I'm through playing games with you people. But you can't touch me. me. If you do, it would spark an international incident, Agent Lang. Sorry, but no, it wouldn't. What? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Good job holding the fort down here until I got back. Uh -huh. So, Mr. Alba. Your diplomatic immunity <laughs> has just been revoked! Fuck you! What do you mean, revoked? Spare me this nonsense and let me through. Not so fast. Langzi says, before aiming for the throat, chew the neck shield off first. <laughs> That's... Uh... Chew the neck shield? What the Not fuck? my neck shield! <laughs> His cabin... <laughs> headquarters in the Imperial household of the Kingdom of Alabast. Took a while to get things rolling, but they finally moved on it. The Imperial household? You... What have you done? I ate them. Fuck. Ha! You have been relieved of your duties as ambassador, Mr. Alba. What? 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 Effective today, effective right now! And you have Mr. Prosecutor's videotape to thank for this. Yeah, since there's a fuck ton of overwhelming evidence. The video the Yadagorasu protected? You can't be arrested simply because you're an ambassador? In that case, I thought I'd strip you of that title. You underestimated me, a descendant of the founder of detainment philosophy, Lang Z. 4,000 years of deeply entrenched connections and networks around the world have really paid off! <laughs> it can't be! I don't believe this! My ambassadorship has been revoked! <laughs> Looks like you're finally coming to grips with your new standing. Just walks over and bites through his forehead like that guy oh from Hunter God. Hunter. Woohoo! Looks like he's turned docile again. Get him! <laughs> he's probably in shock from the loss of his shield. His neck shield. His neck shield. <laughs> I had so wanted to use my whip on him. He's not an ambassador anymore, do it. Yeah, do it. Why is this happening to me? I'm just a hard-working, honest ambassador. There's like eight guards watching you do this. <laughs> Hold on. Hi, Margin. Margin! Hi. Margin, quick! Okay. We're, we're also, um, because he pulled through for us, he's finally earned his name back. Oh, okay. Do you really think you could still pull that on us now? That shit that we all know? We've already ripped away the mask and seen you for who you really are, Mr. Alba. Hi, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Objection? This could be oh, you, Aram. Sorry, Aram. there's ten hours left. Do you, do you want to take over for this guy, Aram? Uh, no. I won't be stopped now. He still intends to fight us, and his two voices have fused! Uh, I've got like eight more testimonies, Are you fucko. shitting me? Mm. So what if I am no longer an ambassador? You still don't have any evidence on me! <laughs> the fact <laughs> remains that you cannot arrest me. We have a no, mountain of evidence on you! But what if he dropped the bullet from a blimp and <laughs> teleported? Evidence and the fact that Lane didn't need any evidence to to arrest him. Yeah, people. wait, like, what the <laughs> fuck was that? He was just like, yeah, I called in a favor and got him fired. <laughs> I expected no less from you, the boss of the smuggling ring. Well, the rest is up to you, Mr. Prosecutor. Understood. <laughs> You say that I killed Mr. Cochin in the theater. But even if it's knife. true that there was a knife in my bouquet, I <laughs> left that bouquet in the theater. So anyone could have taken it out from there and used it, right? Besides, the claim that he was killed in the here itself is odd. After all, wasn't his body discovered in Baba? 
Are you claiming that I carried his body all the way over there? <laughs> Preposterous! Objection! Shut up! I'll be the one to defer- to, to fuck you. Gurnk! I'm really glad I didn't do this last night. Ex Ambassador Alba, are you ready? Because this is no game. This is war. War. This is war. Oh, oh, Edgeworth, you are a loser. I killed Mr. Cochin in this theater using a knife that was stuck in my bouquet. By the way, that's a question mark. I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I left that bouquet in the theater. Anyone could have taken the knife from there. Besides, Mr. Cochin's body was discovered in Babal, right? There is no way for me to have transported his body from the theater to Babal. No way. Don't you think you've had enough fun with me? No. Let me here. Let me screen cap Thanks. that. I, I've I've had no fun with you. Well, you stole the words out of my mouth there. <laughs> me too, Glass. <laughs> I'm just so annoyed at their... Lane has arrested people for less than this. Oh, yeah. You've already stolen my ambassadorship from me. Would you have me surrender, too? Yes. Please? Majin. Oh, you have no plans to ever return to this country, isn't that right? Mm. Did you know that a bunch of your subordinates are seeking asylum because of you? <laughs> As if I care. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, put this guy out of the embassy, and we can finally end everything. You're gonna I... tear him apart! Look, man, I'm trying. <laughs> Without the title of ambassador... Whoa, oh, oh fire alarm? <gasps> Who be in fire alarmed? Not me. I'll be back in half a second. Okay. No but who? But who set the third fire at the end? <laughs> he just, he just turns around, and pulls the fire alarm. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Quick, before he pulls the fire alarm and get him good. I wonder if they understand. Before he escapes I... through the fireplace. I wonder if they all they understand is that like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got a problem with me? The rebutting. <laughs> The rebutting second edition. 3.5 final mix rebuttal. Press or present, I guess present. What about this card? Objection. I'm guessing this card so, from the video has his body in it after no evidence other than just sorry. guessing. Out of curiosity, are you currently using a walkthrough or not? Uh, yeah, I am. It's just taking too long. I'm bored. Yeah, although that's the right reaction. <laughs> Actually, I do believe there was a way to transport the body out of the theater. Also, anytime I'm like, oh, it was this, I'm like four steps ahead of the game, and I'm tired of dealing with that. Perhaps you should give this a look. What is that supposed to be? Some kind of rectangle. It's me! It's footage from the security camera that captured the state of the immigration scene. Should I congratulate you on getting your hands on it? Just letting you know that we are not the only ones watching your every movement. <laughs> Thank you for the warning. Now, if you could take a good look at this section here. This lump inside the push cart. Do you know what's causing it? When a young boy turns to a man. Yeah. I? Because I no. don't. <laughs> In that case, allow me to enlighten you. This is the cause of the unnatural lump under the cloth under the lump of the cloth. It's a body. What is the meaning of showing me that? To say that the unnatural bulge in the pushcart is Mr. Cochin's body. You had the steel samurai wheel his body away from the real crime scene. Larry always does that by accident. ha 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 What a guess! <laughs> but I wonder if you have any evidence to support it. I admit that for now it's just a hypothesis. However... <laughs> if you can't prove it, then I'm afraid I must be on my way. We're still arresting you, dude. <laughs> Don't have any more time to play with you people. Oh my God. Sorry it took so long, Mr. Edwards, sir. Dummy? 
Can I play gummy? Should I, should I put my hand down? Detective Gumshoe. I'll just be yes, over here yes. heiling Hitler. <laughs> because you can't prove I'm bad, no matter how you openly can't evil prove I am. I'm not Hitler. Where's the evidence? <laughs> Testimony. I'll just build it in. Detective Gumshoe, is that the Steel Samurai's pushcart? Yes, yes sir! sir I... Oh, okay, oh, go no. for it. Yes, sir, I found it in the open air stage area. So that's where you went. The detective spirit that pops left with me. I thought he just said it popped out of him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd follow my guts and go with it, sir. So, oh. So, Mr. Edgeworth, is this worth anything to the case? No, put it back. Yes, it might just okay. play a major role in solving this case, detective. But something isn't right. This case is terrible. I thought the entire samurai family was an alabast. Where exactly in the open air stage did you find this push cart? I found it just like I can teleport too. I just found it in the <laughs> Another one the of my X Men powers. Sir. Teleports behind you. <laughs> you almost do. Oh? Well, let's leave that for now and examine the inside, Detective. Yes, sir. A second body? D what? If there was another murder victim, I'd shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> um? The blood stain, it was murder. It's blood. How did you not notice this? This must be dis this must be Doctor Cochin's blood, which only goes to prove that Mister Cochin's body was indeed pro moved. Hmm. Damn! It's almost like I don't have a fucking leg to stand on. I believe you understand what this means, correct? You killed Mister Cochin at this theater and then placed his body inside the push cart, and then you forced the Steel Samurai to unwittingly move the body for you. Objection! I forced him to move the body into Alabas! But, yeah. <laughs> what nonsense! Why would I bother to do such a thing? Objection! You were scheduled to make a speech in Alabas, meaning it was difficult for you to make a stop in Babal. However, what if you moved the body to Alabas? Because it was your embassy, you could keep an eye on it and tamper with the evidence. And then you smuggled it out of Alabas! No! If I can show you how you move the body from Alabas to Babal, then I win. What you can't! The security between the two countries is incredibly tight. I'll be the one to judge whether I can or cannot prove it. And also, oh, and so I asked you to provide us with testimony regarding your movements after your return to Alabas. Gurn. My message good. I'm bored. <laughs> Me too. I'm going home. Have you figured it out? Do you know how the body was moved? To be honest, I have nothing to support my hypothesis at this time. However, I don't believe I've made this mistake. Not one. This game is 10 out of 10. Which means... There's a hole in the fireplace. <laughs> can, can you shoot me? Take, no, take this whip, strangle me with it. I want to die. The primitive statue was successfully smuggled through the brief flight. Jesus Christ, I'm not even trying anymore. <laughs> so why so shouldn't there be an answer as to how the body was moved? Which means that there must be a logic flaw somewhere I can exploit. After I returned to Alabast, I had my picture taken with the Steel Samurai, shaking hands. Then, just as I was about to start my speech, the Yatagarasu appeared. I feared for the national treasures, so I raced back to my office. Is that all? Yes, that's all. It looks like you left out a few things, such as the murder of Damask II. Furthermore, you left out the part about meeting me in your office. Ah, those trifling matters. I don't believe I need to speak fast of those <laughs> things again. <laughs> I do so hate to waste time. <laughs> <laughs> what? You love wasting time. <laughs> Do you really need me to uh, save you some time? Objection! Please! People can, like you cannot allow to... Jail! Hmm. <laughs> then you'd better try hard, because I doubt you'll find a single contradiction. 
He's really full of himself, isn't he? In a second, he'll be full of stab wounds. Yes, he is, and he will be. How can he be so confident at a time like this? <laughs> Come, don't be shy. Go ahead and ask whatever you'd like. <laughs> this is Bowser here. Bowser <laughs> 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 This is Alba here. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to press everything. Oy. So why was it only with the Steel Samurai? I thought the Pink Princess was also around. The Pink Princess was suffering from a bad hip at the time, and the doctors recommended that she rest. Wow! So you do have a soft side after all. Okay. This is irrelevant. I want to stop the Pain coming. of a bad hip. I suppose none of you can really understand how it feels. The pain of that bad hip he force-fed me. I will never <laughs> oh. forget. So you tend to strain your back as well, huh? What? But isn't that just because you're normally all hunched over? <laughs> hmm. The point of this is not to discuss my back problems. For about 15 minutes after our handshake, I was in my office preparing for the speech. Then, just as I was about... Oh, yeah. This I already said. Hold it! That Yatagorasu was just a trick that you had set up. <laughs> a most amusing joke. And how do you propose that I set it up? If you really want to know, I can explain it in detail for you. We've got 15 minutes. You arranged the spotlight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. In the Rose Gardens. Look, you did all this, okay? You just did it. Oh, that is an interesting tale. Sadly, it has nothing to do with me. You. You. What is going to take... What's it going to take for you to fess up to anything? Uh, very well, then. Let's move on to a different question. After the Otagorasu appeared, what was the state of the Rose Garden? Everyone took refuge inside the embassy. I even helped with the effort. And then, once everyone was inside, well... Hold it! And what happened after you returned to your office? I don't want to keep on repeating this. However, I watched Sex in the City for about ten minutes. Which season? Which season? Which season? It better not have been that <laughs> shitty movie they filmed in Dubai. Hm, who cares about that shitty movie? By the time I, he got to the Primaduck statue that he was supposed to steal, it had already been swapped for the fake. Talk about an unlucky man, being bludgeoned to death with a fake statue. That's also a clock. We oh, know Steve's internet dead. Eek! I think the scary part is her silence while she's doing it. She must be at the limit of her patience as well. Physical attacks are meaningless here. We can only damage him with magic. Hmm. Dirk! I, I can't find a single flaw in his argument! At this rate, I won't be able to prove that he's actually guilty of anything! Are we finished here? So, Mr. Edgeworth! Do we need to go to the party? Even after proving so much, is he going to get away with it? No! Ugh. Is this the end? No. Don't worry, I'm sure there's we some. We wish it was the end. Don't worry, the best characters are gonna save us. Majin, I believe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we made it just in time. It would be a great honor if you allow us to be your allies in battle. Evil. I think that's all the lady. Yeah. Do I be old bag? Yeah, glass. Get in try here. Be old bag. Be, be the princess. Uh, just be old bag. Even a magistrate, it's time for you to pay! It's the Steel Samurai? No, you are mistaken, for I am... Steel Samurai Daddy! <laughs> Merry <laughs> Man of Neo oh, Tokyo! And this is... Pink Princess Mommy! <laughs> the two people that I wanted to see the least! Larry! <laughs> what are you two doing here? Wait 
to show your gratitude, Edgy! We just wanted to help! Yeesh! I'm gonna get the bad guy with a single thrust of my- Oh shit! Go away! <laughs> okay, that was the best part of this whole case. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! All three of us came to lend a hand and this is how you treat us. Well, isn't this grand? I see they managed to find the Iron Infant. Does that really matter right now? Hey! It's just me or is the Iron Infant completely soaked? Someone needs a diaper change! Oh, yeah! I found him in Babal, but he was in the middle of the pool. Wait a second. Larry, go back to what you just said! I think they heard me, Edgeworth. Huh? Oh, um, I'm the Steel Samurai Dad! Not that far back! Something about finding the Iron Infant in Babal? And he found it in a pool. I don't recall there being one in Babal. What? Yes, you do! He was swimming in it! Oh, that! Well, I was in Alabast the whole time. So I have no idea how the Iron Infant wound up in Babal. I thought I had lost him in the Rose Garden. But I guess maybe this cute kid can swim, huh? Wait, what? Larry! You lost the Iron Infant in the Rose Garden? Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. But I found him in- Hold it! That's enough, Larry! <laughs> That's enough! Go away! Go away! The Iron Infant that Larry lost manages to move between the two countries. Furthermore, the Iron Infant was found in the middle of a pool. This is what I've been looking for. It's another smuggling route between the countries. The key to the route the Iron Infant took to travel, it's the- what? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> bilateral symmetry, I guess? Yeah, they probably there's like a secret fountain on the other side. <sighs> That's like right. The, uh, like the dual fireplaces. This embassy was built with bilateral symmetry in mind. Detective Gumshoe! You awake, buddy? Gumshoe. Yes, sir! There is a location I wish for you to examine post haste. It is where I believe the route used to smuggle Mr. Cochin's body lies. Does something like that really exist, sir? Does it do? The embassy built on bilateral symmetry, meaning this is where we need to examine. Yes, sir, I'll be back before you know it. It's under the fucking stadium. <laughs> yeah. Ow. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I'm the boo Fuck off. <laughs> That's so fast. You will stay here with us and wait. I hope Edgeworth starts pointing and just turns into a pointing conga line. <laughs> He's like, oh man, I don't Smell have a my finger, for that. Alba. Hello, I'd like to order a pizza. This is Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, it's here, sir! Wow! There is a reservoir here, just like in the Rose Garden. Wrong number. Just as I suspected. <laughs> The two sides of this embassy are mirror images of each other, which means that there's also a pool at the corresponding location on the Babalese side. Mr. Cochin's body was moved into Babal through the pool in Alaba- What? Why? Why wasn't it wet? Avoiding the topic with a vague answer like that is unbecoming of a prosecutor. Well, being if a bitch mind, is unbecoming of an ambassador. I'd like to see more physical proof if you have any. I don't. <laughs> the Iron oh, Infant- I have a gun. I would pay money for that. The Iron Infant is positively soaked in water. Why do you think that is? It's because he was fished out of a pool. And not just any pool. It was the Bobalese one. I think it's pretty obvious at this point what must be true. This game is bad. The water reservoirs and the two courtyards are connected. Objection! And where is your proof that the- Holy fuck, guy, it's so easy to verify that! Even I can't believe this shit. The proof is right there before your eyes. The half-drowned infant! Hwa? <laughs> Fa? This blasted duel! I'm lost. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, I'm back! <laughs> hey! Don't tell me you guys figured out everything without me. We did, thanks to this hero of justice's son. Oh. Even if he is just a doll, he managed to be more useful than you, Gumshoe. 
Not so fast. And Mr. Prosecutor, look, I don't want to say this, but you've had like a thing in your teeth this whole time. It's kind of unlikely that the body just happened to have passed on through to Babal. This guy's a doll, and he's small, so I can believe it made it, but... Mm, he has a point. <laughs> that's, that's right. I'm glad someone here understands. Mr. Edgeworth, are you going to next propose that a dead body can swim through a pipe? You see, Mr. Prosecutor, our chase after this man is far from over. Oh my god. And it's my fault. Agent Lang, am I going to have to demote you back to the L game? <laughs> no, please, sir. Why is he helping Mr. Alba out now? He's not. He realized a flaw in my argument and is helping move the logic along. He just wants to be as done as we do. In which case, I should return the favor and find an answer. And another thing. Mr. Coach's body was found in his office in Babal. So what happened to his body after it was transported to the open air stage? I don't know. Hm. <laughs> Mr. Alba had an accomplice in Babal, remember? You mean she now, right? With her there, you can see how it was possible to move the body up to the office. Objection! Are you seriously claiming that she swam through the connecting pipe with the body? He's right. Miss Sheena would drown if she did that. Why? She went fishing. It's hard to imagine she swam through the connecting pipe. Did it she set? Like your hypothesis Did... about how the body was moved <sighs> is still only half baked. Did she set the building on fire so they would drain the water from the reservoir? This case is awful. Oh my fucking god. That's oh my god. I don't know. That doesn't seem like. That seems like actually a reasonably clever I'm, twist. That is, no, but e everything. I feel like if they the, wanted to present that, they should have done it about five times. Five sooner. twists ago. No, yes. the problem with this case is like it's just like yes, we have a simple plan to be evil, and then like everything they do makes actually no sense. <laughs> they did not need to set any of this up. Now then, I believe you should give up and allow me passage. Because from the start, there was no feasible method of transporting the body. Is is this purgatory? What? Mr. It's... Prosecutor, we call Sheena's movements. Uh, what was it's happening in the embassy you. around the time Sheena was in the ball? Why do I have water in the ball? Oh. oh, get rid of the water. Aha, that's it. <laughs> now, I believe this time we really are done, right, please? <laughs> Objection. She drank it all. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, please. I had a water sipper from seven years ago. You are a most persistent man. Are you saying that you've thought of a way to move the body through the water? You see, they shot an arrow through the water. <laughs> move the body through the water. Arrow. That is completely unrelated to how it was done. Excuse me? He dissolved, and then she boiled the water using the fire and collected his dust from the air. <laughs> <laughs> That's what witch crystal is made of, foolish boy. What? Uh, that'd be a twist. <laughs> The reason I say it is because there wasn't any water at the time. What do you mean, there wasn't any water? Just what it sounds like. Tonight's events made it possible to drain the water by allowing the body to be moved. Really, like, like, you cannot tell me that the best way to move a body was to set the embassy on fire twice. Tonight, the Atagarasu set fire to a variety of locations in the Babalese embassy. Why didn't they just pass the cart to Sheena? In order to put these fires out, the, the water's gone. Of course, when the water was used, the reservoir's water level went down. If enough water was drained, the connecting pipe could be used to traverse the border. Hmm. So what? What do you the mean, water so level what? Went down. The reservoirs were connected. I'm the murderer. Talk to the hand. Does any of this matter? You can't prove any of this. I, yes, I can. I just Walks over, points at it. It's right fucking there! Oh, now, <laughs> Kavanaugh, pretending to be ignorant won't work with me. <laughs> we, we both know what kind of situation we're in right now. 
being in a game <laughs> that is terrible, there comes a critical game-changing moment. A moment in which you hit the off switch and go, fuck that! <laughs> The moment when you I hit haven't your lost head on a yet. Wall. There's 18 more testimonies to go. Oh, this is the Hydra testimony. You get rid of one and they split up. I found the I found the route you used to smuggle the body, and that route will lead to your defeat. Even if all the water was used by the firefighting effort, you still can't really call that a smuggling route. Even Why? though it could transport Not. a let, fucking body. Let, let, yes, I can. It's a connection between the two. Co I know that. <laughs> I should have figured that you would notice. It doesn't matter. This if is stupid. It doesn't matter hey, if it's Mr. a smuggling Alba. route. It's a route for the body to be moved. Who cares? How deep are those pools anyway? <laughs> Guys, this is giving me meningitis. <laughs> As you know, those pools are extremely deep. Unlike the writing. <laughs> yeah. And there are no ladders or footholds along the wall. What about a stepladder? <laughs> it would be difficult for Shina to hold the body and climb up out of the pool. Huh. Ladders or footholds along the walls? There was no need for such things. She what had do you mean? Hops. She is Spider-Man! Alba, was... you forget! Humans can fly! <laughs> <laughs> she one... floated upon the water! If one were to use a certain something, they could go up and down the pool at will. Oh, it looks like you got an answer already. Well, what are you waiting for, Mr. Prosecutor? Enlighten us already! Fireplace! Fire? In one way... <laughs> The way in which Miss Sheena used the body. The way in Miss Miss Sheena. Fuck, I can do it. The way in which Miss Sheena and the body were able to rise up to ground level. If there was a way to control the water level, that could be the way the body was moved. This was used so that the body and Miss Sheena could move up and down the pool. I kind of don't want to cheat in this thing. Should be that, because yeah. it auto refills. Miss Alba used the fountain spouts in a manner of speaking. He used the fountain sprouts? How so? The water level in the pools can be controlled by opening and closing the spouts. Machina and the body were lifted up via buoyancy and water. The fire on the Bobbalese side and the firefighting effort, these were set in motion all for the sake of smuggling Mr. Cochin's body. Gurnk! Shall I show you where the final destination of my train of logic leads? It's the dump. <laughs> Finally, Mr. Alba closed the fountain spouts in advance, in preparation of things to come. And he took the push cart that was brought to the Rose Garden, and pushed it, along with the Iron Infant and Mr. Cochin's body, into the pool. At this time, Miss Sheena was busy, busy conveniently starting the first fire in Babal. She made for the open- Why wasn't she wet then? She made for the open air stages pool to wait for the firefighting effort to begin. When the firefighters used the water in that pool, the water level went down. And by the time the fire was put out, the pipe between the two pools was exposed. Luckily, it's 40 feet tall. This is where she pushed the push cart from Alabast into Babal. Once that was accomplished, Mr. Alba simply opened the fountain spouts once more. And no one noticed him doing any of this, despite it being a windowed courtyard. In the middle of the day, during a huge event, and the water level rose up to its original level, along with Miss Sheena and the body. This is my least favorite case in the entire franchise. After that, Miss Sheena used to push the cut. Yep. That is an elevator in the embassy, after all, so you see. You were kind of right, Siv. Even with her small frame, she could have easily transported Mr. Cochin's body. And that wraps up my explanation as to how the body was moved. Gin. One more viewer, and we hit 100 on this disaster. <laughs> well, Mr. Ex-Ambassador Alba, what do you think? Not so untouchable without your precious extraterritorial rights to protect you, are you? I knew Don't you'd worry, by the time the camera pans back to me, I'll be smug again. Wait, a fight back! Objection, hot dog box! Right on schedule, you accuse me of moving the body across country lines. That would be but illegal! When you get down to the nitty gritty, <laughs> You don't have what it takes to indict me. Really thought you were gonna do. When you get down to the nitty gritty, you don't have what it takes to inditty. 
<laughs> the nitty gritty. What does that old name on now? Big Top may be lower quality, but it's like one third the length. Big Top is fucking terrible, but yeah, it's definitely only a third as long as this. And like, fuck, man. And you get a tiger. <laughs> proof, Eight. I believe, is what he seeks. Yes, proof. Eight more pieces of evidence is the bare minimum. Without any, who is to say whether or not any of what you said really happened? He wants proof? What are we gonna do, Mr. Edward? It's the guitar Thanks. pick from the flowers. It's the fire pick. It's the fire pick. <laughs> There's no need to worry. I've had all the proof we need all along, except for when the two samurais came in, and then when Gumshoe came in, and when Lang came in. I'm kind of a fuck-up. The body wasn't the only thing to go through the pool's connecting pipe tonight. Just as Detective Gumshoe found in the pushcart, the pushcart, push... So too did... So too did I find one other right I'm in there. And that piece of evidence is what will prove that pools were the smuggling route. This was another thing that came. The pick. Pick, up. pick your place in. Pass and what exactly is this? Hmm. I don't know. This little piece I that I found. you could tell me. This little piece that I found on the Barbalee side will be your undoing. A guitar pick. Would you care to explain how that is going to uh, do me in, as it were? Much to your chagrin, perhaps. Well, much to your chagrin, perhaps, but this is not a guitar pick. What? This is something I found at the open air stage, which was transported with the body. I naturally assume that you would recognize it, since you took a photo with it, after all. But since you don't, allow me to fill you in on what fa uh, what, what it, what's this from? It's a knife. Let us take a good look at the murder weapon that was used to kill Manny Cochin. God, that's so backwards. You yep. would not pick the pick unless you knew about the knife. Yep. I, I tried this about an hour ago. On the handle is this knife. Oh, on the handle of this knife, there's a beautifully blooming flower. However, it would appear that it's missing a single petal. <laughs> now let's see what happens when we try to fill in this pick into the open slot. Who doggy? Holy, holy fuck. <laughs> I assume the petal must have fallen off the flower during Mr. Coach's murder. And then it was accidentally placed into the push cart along with Mr. Coach's body. Objection, Gurn. That's an interesting story, nothing more. Objection, shut the <laughs> fuck up. I assume you, I assume you. <laughs> because for some odd reason, this flower petal was wet when I found it. It was wet, you say? Yes, and the only place it could have gotten wet, the one place with water in the world, is the open stage's pool. Now I ask of you, how did a part of the weapon which was smuggled into the theater wind up in the open air stage area on the Bobolese side of the embassy? I don't think I need to waste any words explaining this, as this pedal explains it all for me. It proves that someone went from the Rose Garden's pool on through to Babal. Impossible! The people of Zhang Fa have been waiting to see you face to face, Mr. Alba. I'll tell everyone back home we'll be there soon. You should be happy. I... this... why? Why? It's a little late to be asking that question. You should have known from the very beginning, when you took your first life. No matter how you may plot, or how you may try to cover it all up, you can never hide from your crime and what you've done. The evil you force-fed me, because we're here to see it, to see to it, that justice is served to people like you. Objection! You can't call what you've given a perfect argument! Are what you... about my remaining seven testimonies? Oh, I keep thinking you're kidding. You know, I don't think this guy is gonna ever admit to his wrongdoings, Mr. Edward, because he values himself above all else. People can be negotiated with people... Use a mill when they lost. I don't believe those kinds of people really exist because everyone breaks eventually. You're One right. One finger, two <laughs> fingers. Oh my god! Fingers. 
in that case, was was that implying she was torturing him by breaking his fingers? I, yeah. <laughs> You're right. I, I wish Kay was like, this is fun, but was also like, let's shoot him in the head. <laughs> kind of crazy. You're right. In that case, I have no choice but to use all the evidence I have. He oh. literally dumps his bag of yeah. evidence on his head. <laughs> Smothers him with the bag of evidence. I'll use it all until he breaks under the weight of his crimes. Mr. Alba, I request that you testify once more. This really will be the end of the Shut line. Shut the fuck up! I don't <laughs> believe you. Said that you. seven lines ago. To be continued! Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry? There was something beautiful about it. Ace this Attorney Investigations was made by owls. This will be it's the 30, end. 30 in the morning. Guys, I'm going to go get a cup of tea so that I can... In the universe, can... they've been talking to this guy for like five hours. Guess I'm gonna go scrape out my brain matter. <laughs> this this is so bad. <laughs> Mr. Alba, I request that you testify Can't once- Can't believe I'm saying this, but- I request that you testify once more. Now, I need you to listen to me. I'm not requesting for you to testify twice more, or thrice, or four, or five times, or some arbitrary number, one more time. I can't make any promises. 50 testimonies. <laughs> Even he's like, as if there was anything left for me to testify about. <laughs> I still have yet to fully prove that it was Mr. Alba who murdered Mr. Cochin. Uh, well, the fuck? I would like to hear <laughs> about your movements before the murder occurred. I would like to hear your screams. That too. I wonder if you could tell us about what you did here in the theater of Neutralis. Very well. I suppose I could tell you about that, Twinkle. <laughs> because about all I did was watch the Steel Samurai stage show. <laughs> Elaborating on even that is... that's fine. <laughs> the only He's way for me to enough. place this man under arrest is to pinpoint the exact location of where the murder took place. For that is the key to the investigation. I watched from the last row. The stage was well lit, but it was dark out in the audience. I swear I was there in the audience, but it's hard to prove that, I suppose. I do remember the contents of the show very well, though. Is that proof enough for you? Those moving scenes were seared into this old man's heart. I'll never forget them. So you were in the theater proper watching the Steel Samurai stage show, were you? Of course I was. I have a great fondness for the Steel Samurai. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty cool up there, wasn't I? You're not Die. the one who was cool. It's the Steel Samurai who's cool, Larry. <laughs> yeah! Finishing <laughs> move. Hey, Edgy, who is she? Who's the super cute girl? 17, She's back not off. Legal. I mean, she, she might be, depending on the state that they're in in America. She's been. Mm. She's been standing here this whole time, and only now he notices her? We've been here for four hours, Larry. Her name is Kay Faraday, and she's helping me in my investigation. For certain values of helping. It's like five in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm Larry Boots. <laughs> Silence in the peanut gallery. There's no time for such trivialities at a time like this. Mr. Prosecutor, this is the There's final battle. <laughs> so many people in this room. Battle. No more. This is the last battle. You got it? Hang on. Screen cap. Uh, fucking uptime on the stream. See how long we've been going. Like three hours? I've been here since about 4.30 and it's 7. <laughs> Take a good long <laughs> look. Go Sorry, I'm I'm posting it to Twitter. <laughs> I'm just not making a joke. That's okay. <laughs> Let the finality sink in. <laughs> For what it's worth, this is the last page on the walkthrough wiki. Hooray! How long's the page? Shh. <laughs> Actually, not that long. 
I know. This is the end for that man there. <laughs> well, that's the kind of thing I like to hear. Jokes. I think I'll give back to Alba and he's just been beheaded. I think I'll give trusting you a try, Mr. Prosecutor. Or rather, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. I leave this critical battle up to you, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm tired. Have no fear. I will finish the job. Bang, bang. This really is the end game. The time has come to expose every last one of Mr. Alba's lies. They say into the camera. Luckily, I'm very good at Ace Attorney and know the exact order in which I should do things without cheating. <laughs> well, I remember the contents of the show as well myself. Let's talk about it. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice! <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, don't allow yourself to be riled up by him at this important juncture. <sighs> I wasn't planning to let him... All right. Well, if you ask me, I think I'm the biggest steel samurai expert around here. And didn't you think the climatic, uh, climatic scene of today's show was just totally awesome? Yes, I remember that well. And that spectacular special move. The way you delivered the final blow against the evil magistrate. Early summer rain jab. Oh, that scene will live on in my heart forever. Is that how it went? <laughs> I totally forgot about that. How can you forget your own special moves? That's the special attack that the Steel Samurai uses when he's using the Samurai Spear. Yes, and today was the first time they showed it off, was it not? If I hadn't watched the show, then how could I answer you with the name oh of- Oh my god, are they seriously doing what they think they're doing? Yup, yeah they yes. are. I, uh, I suppose you're uh, correct, but if you could please elaborate on this point for me. One of the scenes was of his never-before-seen early summer rain jab move. Bendy spear! <laughs> the special move today was the early summer rain jab. Is that your final answer? No, I have nine more testimonies! You little irritating gnat! Do you think you can trip me up by asking the same question over and over? That was not my intention. Your testimony is more than sufficient. However, I believe it would be wise for you to take a look at this! Samurai spear? What about it? The spear actually never made it on stage today. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm going crazy. <laughs> Unfortunately <laughs> for you, tonight's Steel Samurai happened to be a goof of a young man with an abundance of useless hot-bloodedness. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, said useless man bent the spear during his rehearsal this evening. Kay, do you remember the Steel Samurai special move tonight? It was the Steel Samurai Sushi Slash! Uh, 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 <laughs> Correct. Because he couldn't use the spear, the last minute change was made. Had you really been watching the show, you would have known the move what was used. Gurnk. Quirkus Alba, you- You're a- you're a fake fan! <laughs> you didn't watch even a single minute of the Seal Samurai- The th Seal Samurai Say So Tonight, did you? <laughs> Mercy <laughs> me! Gurnrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Ah, you see, during the show, I left my seat for a spell. Are you? The bathroom. <laughs> you where can... I took the <laughs> most <laughs> enormous dump of my entire life. I'm talking a major floater. Guys, I... <laughs> I gotta throw up. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, hey, hang on, Mr. Edgeworth. I found a floater on the Bobble side of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> but how could a. But by definition, a floater could not have passed through the underwater. <laughs> Th that's the lousiest, lamest excuse I ever heard in my life, pal. My friend, uh, just eat the fucking you, fiber, all right? Just because he got the name Stop. of the move wrong, we can't really use it as proof that he didn't want to show at all because he was pooping. <laughs> as a fan of the Steel Samurai, I had wanted to watch the entire show, honest. But Objection! You know how fake fan, name me five seasons of Steel Samurai. As a Steel Samurai fan. For someone who wasn't even in his seat for the climax of the show, you have no right to call yourself a Seal Samurai fan. Ever! Yes, a little offended, eh? This is now a personal case. <laughs> <laughs> this, I am now more upset than I was when my father was murdered. Who was that just now? We don't have enough people in this room yet. I bet it's... It would be I, young lady. Larry, what are you doing interrupting me like that? Edgy, just hold on for a second, I beg! You may never accept this old man as a Steel Samurai fan, but I totally think he's a Steel st Stop Sammy Dad. You're ruining everything. Um, what exactly is a Steel Salmon... Samaniac. S Sam Sonic. Well, what exactly is Steel Sonic the Hedgehog? I believe you meant to say Steel Samurai Maniac. Yeah, and trust me, I know a real fan when I see one because I'm the Steel Samurai. Objection! I will never acknowledge you as the true <laughs> Steel Samurai. What are you getting so worked up over, Mr. Edgeworth? It appears that the real Steel Samurai recognizes me as a fan. <laughs> as well he should, for I am a fan. <laughs> Only a true fan can lay such a major floater. It was a most amazing show, filled with a most amazing poop. You can tell he's a big fan because he ate the samurai dog. You can tell by analysising his poop. I hate. <laughs> Quick, use a poop knife the to dissect The sarcasm dripping from his long wooden nose couldn't run any thicker. Just like the poop dripping from his No! Wooden butt. I will close your mouth with the gorilla glue. It will never open again. The evil of that poop he force fed me. this. I'm eating chocolate icing again. Don't do this. Again. You are. Stop eating chocolate icing, <laughs> Siv. stop eating chocolate icing or we're talking about poop. Getting the name of the move wrong only proves that he didn't watch the last scene. What I really need here is something more definitive. Something that links Mr. Alba directly to the murder of Mr. Manny Cochin. You know what, Gramps? You're, you're really something else. I am honored to receive such praise from the Steel Samurai, but what is it for? Well, I was just wondering how you found out about the early summer rain jab. That move is a bit of a secret that only a small portion of the staff knows. Wait, was it a secret? Larry, wait, what did you just say? Huh? Did I say something stupid again? Yes, but didn't you say that the early summer rain jab was actually a secret? Well, maybe I shouldn't have said secret. It's more like we only discussed the na We decided on the name of the move right before the start of the show. Well, why did you do that oh, if- what? Wait, then- uh, Fuck it. You know what? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Yeah! The stage director was going nuts because we were supposed to debut the move! But five minutes before the show, we threw it, we threw it up on the dressing ward, dressing room's whiteboard. Early summer rain jab? That's kind of how we decided the name of the move. But by that time, I already bent the spear, so I guess the whole thing was kind of pointless. All of you steel samurai actors are the same. The director has my complete sympathy. So basically, because we changed the move to the sushi slash, we kind of pretended that the early summer rain jab didn't exist at all. 
I mean, it'd be bad if someone found out we changed the move, so we made it a secret. Why? What? So this is basically Ace Attorney is canceled. Jello is mm -hmm. trapped in this case forever. <laughs> so basically, a gag order Sorry, was Jello. issued for the pub for publicity's sake. We couldn't let them know they changed the secret move they made up five minutes ago. It's a lost art. Yeah, which is why I think most of the staff haven't even heard of the move. Objection! Wrong. Sorry. Objection! Hold those lips of yours still. They look so supple and youthful. What the heck, old man? I will put my hand over them and absorb, and absorb them. Done nothing but listen, and from what I can tell, it's all very unrelated to the case. This young man has nothing new, to, nothing add. new to add. Larry, there's just one thing I should know. It's what a colossal waste of time. <laughs> Much like a kid's show. <laughs> Objection! Kid shows are not a waste of time. Mr. Alba, I believe the one who should be quiet now is you. <laughs> you have How dare you? <laughs> I suspect that you've already noticed exactly what the very severe implications are in this man's testimony. Ha! So now you're trying to bully me, huh? There are no implications to be read into the behind-the-scenes story of a kid's show. Not so fast. Don't you even think about trying to slither your way out of this, Curious Alba. <laughs> curious <laughs> Alba, curious the curious <laughs> little monkey. <laughs> <laughs> you were the one who said it yourself, that the name of the move was Early Summer Rain Jab. But that name was only decided upon right before the show was about to start. So, just what are you driving at? I'm driving at this horse, stabs him! Early summer rain jab! <laughs> the name, that the name of the move you told us was never used in the show or said aloud. Mm. Imagine if he was just like, I give up. All right, fuck it, I did it. Now then, would you care to tell us about how you found out the name of that move? Because I can only think of one way you could have known. Quirkus Alba! This is the only way you could have known the name of that special move. The secret you passage in the <laughs> fireplace! <laughs> you knew the name because you saw it. You saw it on the dressing room's whiteboard. Bing! <laughs> Metal Gear Solid alert noise. The staff members who knew it were keeping it a secret, so you couldn't have simply gone up to a staff member and asked, which means that the only other option left is that you saw it on the whiteboard. So that means that Mr. Alba was in the waiting room at some point, right? But what's the big deal, sir? I don't see what that means. There's another well, piece a of evidence. fireplace in the waiting room. There's another oh. piece of evidence that has a great deal to do with the dressing room, so we can't afford to let it slide. This is related to both the dressing room and to Mr. Cochin's murder. Gross. The, it's the heart, right? Because it was in there? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I thought it was gonna be old bag shirt. I think I got rid of that actually. I'm not sure you why that was evidence. No, no, it was never used in anything. During the show, the push cart awaited its turn to to be pushed on stage from the dressing room, and it was finally pushed there along with the iron infant in the last stage of the show. And then, right after the show ended, it went into the it went into Alabast along with the steel samurai. Which means that the only time the killer could have placed the body inside the pushcart was when the pushcart was in the dressing room backstage! So basically, the killer has to be someone who visited the dressing room during the show. Precisely. Mm, oh, but wait! What if... And this is just a what if. What if the murderer didn't take place in the dressing room? What? What do you mean, Kay? I have to admit, she brings up a valid possibility. We can't end this case. Once we end it, we die. During the show, <laughs> the dressing room was supposed to be devoid of people. Anyone going into the private dressing room would stand out like a sore thumb. But despite that, the killer still managed to move the body with the pushcart. Correct. And it's because of the setup of the theater's dressing room. That would be the ideal location for the murder of Manny Cochin. Because there's a second dressing room on the other side of the bilaterally symmetrical building! <laughs> Quirkus Alba, during the show, you went down to the dressing room, and I want to know why. Alright, but it will take at least four testimonies. No, to no, none of that. <laughs> no, no. I went the wrong yes, way I when trying to I find went the, into the dressing room. 
I've turned into Detective Bat. I knew it! I'm placing you under arrest right now, pal! You got that? Arrest! Objection! No, thanks. <laughs> Not so fast. Oh, what? You can't use both of those. What is it now? <laughs> Don't I deserve a chance to explain myself? No. Nope. No? Explain? Is. What, what is there to explain? I, got I believe I told you earlier that I went to the bathroom. Well, it turns out I, I like did. I should have said I went to. Like, I mean that as in I didn't go to the room that you call the bathroom. I simply performed the action that you yeah. call going to the bathroom. How See, the fuck I'm wearing did my you get adult lost? diaper, so I just went into the dressing room to do my pee pee. I have extraterritorial bathroom rights. I you can poop anywhere. My diaper. <laughs> She now wants to change me for directions. Ah! When I opened the dressing room door, no one was inside. The best place to smuggle is in my diapy. What <laughs> 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 is the name of the move on the whiteboard? You know, I, got a, I think that was in a Rugrats episode. <laughs> you punk, still trying to get out of this. Do you really think you can get away at this point? The only way to investigate is to change my nappy. <laughs> <laughs> if the diaper doesn't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> uh, I don't have enough evidence on hand to do anything. I don't have the airtight evidence I need to put this man away for good. I just need a fourth person to burst in. What if that's what what if just fucking um Nick comes and he's like, yes, hey, I got the evidence and he st he kills steals the game from Edgeworth. <laughs> and then he kills Alpha. But if that's what I need, then for, just comes in on like a cart and slams into him and kills him by accident. <laughs> Agent Lang, I believe an investigation of the dressing room is in, in in question is in order. It's possible that we may find new evidence there. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth poked around in there. I'm sure I'll find some new facts, pal. <laughs> Fuck all that. Not so fast. You don't need to do Thank any you. of that. Thank you. What? Wolfie, how could you? God bless you, Agent Lang. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm just let's fucking dying. <laughs> it's just that we've already searched there. My men really are something else. And they found nothing? There's only one thing I could say to you, sis, and it's not that they found nothing. That's it. It is that they I found nothing. Actually said, like, I... no, no. I think it was just like, he's just trying to do like some kind of informal thing, like girly, except they- sound or something? Yeah, yeah, but they translated it really literally and it doesn't yeah. work at all. Especially when they they use it as the sis over there, like, on Yeah. I. You fucking guess I don't get three! Ah, who's they he? couldn't find anything because there was nothing to find. And if there's no info to feed into Little Thief, then I can't do much to help either. Is this the end? The murder took place in this no, it's theater. it's not the end. I wish it were the fucking end, Edward. Which is not protected under extraterritorial rights. And the fact that it was Mr. Alba himself who committed the murder. If I can't prove both statements to be true, Mr. Alba walks away a free man. Is there no other course of action left to us? It would appear that your hand of cards has turned out to be a bus. Now, if you'll excuse my random metaphor, because of you people, I missed my flight. Now I must make haste to arrange for a new one. Hold it! Oh, what is this gonna be? Who is it this time? Oh. Yeah. Oh Why? no, I'm back. Hold it right there, you whippersnappers. Uh, first Larry and now you. This is the worst case. Oh, this is a scary mobster like scowl on your face, edgy pool. Don't treat me like I'm some sort of nuisance. I've been meaning to say this, but all you keep talking about are things I don't get at all. You're all leaving this lady in the sad, depressing, lonely dust and I'm about to cry in. Why did you have to speak up right at this instant? But you know what, Edgy Pool? Cheer up! Because I'm about to give you the most wonderful thing! Pulls off one of her boob circles. <laughs> Here you go! The, the most wonderful thing from you. 
It's so super special that I couldn't give it away to just anyone, you know. Ah, my special present of love to my sweet edgy poo. Are you ready? Is this? It's... It's a box of those samurai dogs, right? Yes. Oh, edgy poo, here you go. Here, go on and eat one. You'll feel it right as rain. <laughs> <laughs> Even I'm disappointed. I want a hot dog. <laughs> Are we through here? Yeah, raise your hand if you want a hot dog. I did everyone get so quiet all of a sudden. Itchy poo. Tell me you understand the depths of this lady's love for you. I'm not one to hand out snacks nearly, willy nilly, no sir. I, the oh, thought occurred to me that I'm... <laughs> it's amnesia full and one day I was to dream to save my own home. I mean, food, I mean, it was a desire of everyone to make sure that the beloved never goes hungry. And as we experience that, it will not type of going because of the difference in meal. And then the difference of the meal. Mr. Edward, can't you do anything about her? Pulls out a gun, bang. <laughs> oh, okay. There is no power on earth that can force that woman into silence. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm so sick and Oops, tired I poked a hole in the ambassador. He's dead. <laughs> Oops. Finally. <laughs> but I'm so sick and tired of it. All you people do is look down on me. Even this box of samurai dogs played me for a fool. It had been special design. It had a special design on on its fan. Yep. It has yep. a fan. Yeah, right. Uh, a fan on the yeah, dog. top right of it. Oh. Like the Japanese flag, so I thought it was special. When I ate one, it tasted just like all the rest. Oh, it made me so mad! Wait, a special box with a Hinomaru-like fan on it? I've never heard of such a piece of merchandise existing before. However, there it is. The red rising sun on this fan is filled in. It, is it possible? Could this be a sniper's dot? Get down! <laughs> After the show, the samurai dogs were piled up on the dressing room floor. However, there's no such thing as a rising sun dog. It's blood. This contradiction of the facts between something that should not yet exist and yet does. The rays from this rising sun may be just what we needed to point us in the right direction. Boy, this game never uses ten words when a hundred will do. A present? A hundred? I think you're underestimating. Whoa! Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, 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 He's voiced like a banjo kazooie. Can we, for all these flashbacks that are about to come in, can we just do it like they're banjo kazooie characters until we yes. get out of flashbacks? Wait, <laughs> It's time to piece together the final pieces of this logic puzzle. No matter how fragile or small the connections may hot dog box, once we've found them all, the way to the truth will be revealed! Why are you spinning? Oh boy, here's a classic. Here are three things that connect. Don't do them in the wrong order or we'll fuck you. Yeah. Oh, get fucked. Wah, 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 wah. Is it push card and samurai dogs? Oops. Yeah, what 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 the killer used the pushcart to transport the body! <laughs> Which means that they had to remove the samurai dogs from within first. Therefore, the samurai dogs that were piled up on the dressing room floor- Ugh, God, hot dogs that have been sitting in a room for nine hours, just disgusting. Were most likely taken out of the pushcart by the killer. Sanity status zero. <laughs> Sanity s Hmm. You know what would be amazing is if I did this and it was like, wrong, you have to click Samurai Dogs first to connect them. <laughs> oh my God. That which should not exist. This box of Samurai Dogs with the Hinomaru on it. If this red rising sun was filled with 
was filled in when the killer was busy removing dogs from the pushcart, then it's proof the murder took place in the dressing room! As long as this red substance turns out to be what I think it to be. Cats. Damn! Wendy Oldbag, my wife. Oh, I thank you. What you have given to me is truly something very special. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, are you telling me you are feeling okay, sir? Mr. Alba, as I suspected, you killed Mr. Cochin in the dressing room. This hot dog proves it. How many times must I listen to your hot dogs? Haven't you figured it out yet? Your words are meaningless, worthless, and powerless. The only way I'm going to continue to cooperate is with some definitive evidence. <laughs> that arrogance. That self-confidence. You believe that you've erased every piece of evidence that could incriminate you. However, there remains one piece here, and it's what will put you away for good. Ha! You're bluffing! Oh ho! Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, sounds like you finally found them. You finally found the fangs we need to go after this guy's jugular. So tell us, what about that box of samurai dogs is going to put the old man away? Oh, nothing. I'm just hungry. It's three in the morning. Time for fourth meal. <laughs> The trace evidence that will bring him down? Why, it's here, of course, in my brain. <laughs> tap, tap. That is literally drawn on, bitch. That, that's not blood. It's, uh, that, is that really supposed to be blood? That's blood. No, it's, it's in an outline. This box of samurai dogs with the rising sun fan on it. This should have never existed. So I want you all to take a good look at this red spot. It's a single drop of blood. Oh, that looks fake, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> you stupid. What yeah. you say? Agent Lang, I'd like this blood analyzed potus po po I've got to I'm a bit surprised. I can't believe we found blood in a place like this. He hey, just you. takes it and goes, la, 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 la. Hey, up hey, you blood. eat this wrapper right now. You got what it, Mr. It? Lang! Why was there blood on that box to begin with? Because it was, it was near the murder, stupid. Kay. Come on, keep up, girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know you're a baby and you've never stayed up till four in the morning before. If we can think about the Mr. flow of- Edgeworth, I'm sweepy. <laughs> Turns into a broom and sweeps. I think the reason will become obvious. Larry, you said you transported the samurai dogs with the push cart, correct? Um, yeah, you have great memory, Mr. Edgy. Yeah, Mr. Edgy, that push car I'm was Mr. a bit Edgy. Yeah. <laughs> that push car's a bit too big for my son, you know what I mean? So I had to make sure everyone could see him. I had to pile some stuff in. I figured the samurai dogs were there, so I used them to fill up the cart. If what Larry says is true, then what were the boxes doing on the floor? Uh, I see, the killer took them out in order to place the body in the push cart. Exactly. And that is when I believe the victim's blood found its way onto that box. But when my men investigated that room, not a single box of samurai dogs was in there. Because the embassy staff members had already ate them. Yes, no doubt to hide evidence of the murder. It's a good thing Miss Oldbag managed to steal that one box before they got to him, huh? I hoovered them Miss all up with my- managed to put this great thief to shame. I suck! Uh, what a scandalous way of putting- of way- what a scandalous way of putting that. I didn't steal. I received it from myself. Quirkus <laughs> Alba, I'd say this hot dog was the one very fatal oversight on your part. Objection. Error <laughs> <laughs> is killing me every time. I'm mm -hmm. losing a day of my life. Sorry to rain on your little hot dog fest, however. How, how is this still going? <laughs> <laughs> Even if that blood turns out to belong to Mr. Cochin, then what? Then you're guilty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so Mr. Edgeworth, sounds like he's not ready to call it quits yet, huh? Can I stab him yet? Yeah. Yeah, do it. Thank you. Thank you. Here he comes. The soul piece. <laughs> oh, she, she's gonna get- It's just her little K option where she's like bouncing back and forth like she's gonna fight you but with a tiny knife. <laughs> the sole piece of evidence that was left at the scene of the crime. That alone has shed light on a new fact. 
At the very least, we now have proof that the murder did occur in the dressing room. And you say that like it means something. <gasps> uh, excuse me, sirs. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Report. Where are the results of the poo analysis? Sir, the analysis came back and it confirmed that the red substance is blood and the That's brown substance it. is poo! <laughs> I knew it! There was a floater with I... curious elbow! Well, uh, I have two pieces of news. I'm afraid that, uh, that hot dog isn't a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! I want to die! Mr. Edgeworth, I wonder if you might humor my question. <laughs> That blonde dude hasn't said anything in hours. I'm asleep standing up. <laughs> Your question. Oh, is he in the room? Yeah, he's yeah. been here. <laughs> the one who was wringing my hands for hours. Forgot. Even if that is Mr. Cochin's blood, what difference would it make? Not so fast. Like we already told you, it proves that the crime scene was in that dressing room. Objection. But it doesn't prove that I am your killer, does it? Except you told <laughs> us you- That's... That's... Uh oh He has a very good point. The blood okay. on that box yeah. doesn't prove Mr. Alba's the killer. Ah, I think that enemy got the point. What? Oh no. Try it's almost like he was there, had a knife, and admitted to him being killed, but uh, we got nothing. It can't be, we so closer! This is the worst case <laughs> I have ever played in Ace Attorney. This, this guy's breakdown better blow my fucking mind. It's probably fine, but I don't remember it being anything special, unfortunately. We finally found a piece of solid evidence. There must be something I can expose with it. Take off your pants, I want to look at the diaper. <laughs> ah! I looked at the diaper! I can't think of a single thing, and we're out of characters to burst in! I didn't know he was Woody Woodpecker! I'll be on my way. Oh, Hold God. it, someone else. I hope it's me! Who was that? It's too late! I won't let- I'm leaving! I'm just like walking out the door! It, it wasn't me, pal! And it wasn't me this time, either! It wasn't me, either. It was me! <laughs> it was me! When did Someone you... has been sitting! <laughs> it's the forensics! Um, because I haven't finished reporting everything to you yet, sir. There's more. There was a second floater! What? <laughs> Hurry up and spit it out! <laughs> I bit out the second floater in your mouth! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, sir! Oh, that blood I mentioned, it's poop! It's not of the same blood type as the victim's blood. Oh, what? it's blood from his collar! Oh. Stab wound, hot dog box. What?! What do you mean it's not the same type? You mean it's not the victim's blood? If it isn't his, then who the hell is it? Well, um, uh, it's cherry flavored, actually. What? I don't know, sir! All I know is it's not the same type of blood as the victim, sir! What should we do now, Mr. Edgeworth? I have no idea what's going on anymore! If I fall asleep, <laughs> will you all disappear? <laughs> I won't wake you up. <laughs> My, what an amusing turn of events. Opens mouth, <laughs> bullets <laughs> fly out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a railgun all along! That blood drop proved something to be true, all right. Namely, my words. And which one of your words would that be? There were so Fuck. many. The ones where I said that your words are meaningless, worthless, and powerless. That blood has nothing to do with the murder investigation whatsoever. Need I remind you that the blood got onto that box long before it entered my embassy? What on earth? Yeah, it's blood, pal. There's no way it's not related to the murder. <laughs> so you would like to believe. But what if someone preparing the samurai dogs had a small nosebleed? <laughs> 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 
bold of Can you. Can you prove that there was a nosebleed from a blimp? <laughs> I, I guess that's possible. <laughs> Damn it, have we been wasting our time on a red herring? A red hot dog, perhaps. The blood doesn't belong to anyone connected to the case. That should be clue enough. I didn't say, I just said it wasn't the victims. A curious Alpha, you bastard! Talk. No swearing. Silence! Don't you ever address me with such a filthy word again. I've yes, wasted sir. enough time here with you, and you have your answers. Now, let me through. Not so fast, Alba. It doesn't matter where you run off to. You'll never escape me. Someday, I'll have the satisfaction of sinking my fangs into you. You'll see. Oh, Majin, you weren't here yet, but the last time he said that, <laughs> I made a Hunter Hunter joke. Just walks over like Uvogin and bites through his skull. <laughs> <laughs> and all the intervals will be behind me, working to see to it that 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 day, sir. <laughs> Don't you know what your words sound like to me? <laughs> they sound like the whinings of a pathetic loser of a month. <gasps> Ow! Don't Awu. Is this really the extent of all we can do? He's just looking at his phone. Is the blood really <laughs> from someone completely unrelated to the case? Or is there no. another possibility? The someone they switched the blood with the victim. <laughs> I switched all my blood with the victim. Transfusion. They switched the blood with the trap door and the fireplace. You see, due to this building's bilateral symmetry, when we stood on opposite sides, our blood became one. <laughs> so when I thought I had him backed into a corner, it is I who has been backed into one. In a situation like this. What would that man do? What would he who can turn any desperate situation around do? Turn it around. It's worth you big gay. He's so gay. <laughs> well, he's not straight. He might be ace. <laughs> That's it. I must turn my way of thinking around. It's not whose blood is this. It's whose blood is it anyway? Whose blood could get onto the box like this? And if I think about it that way... If the blood got onto the box when the body was being placed into the push cart, then the owner of said blood must have been in the dressing room at the time. And there's only one person that could be. Well, I must praise you for trying so hard. It's because of you kids that I was removed from center stage and will be forced to live out the rest of my life in the shadows, unfortunately. But it's not a total loss, as the underworld will allow me more freedom than you'll ever know. You're just gonna say that. Mm -hmm. Freedom like what the raven feels as it flies through the dark night sky. Raven? By the way, would you like to read my poetry? Ravens can't fly at night. They're not special you like that. You can't lay a finger on me. Not now or ever. Oop. The arm of the law is completely powerless before me. Objection. Um, what if I just make shit up like you do? Then we could be here forever, bitch. Hmm, powerless, is it? I wouldn't be so sure about that if I were you. What do you mean? Allow me to describe you in one word. Play? <laughs> <laughs> How so? Quirkus Alba, your wings were quipped long ago. Quip? <laughs> 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 and for someone who's trying to fly away on them without noticing that fact, you're using a wire and a pulley system connected to your fan shot by a crossbow arrow. This case isn't dumb at all! <laughs> ha! Mere words. This case is <laughs> <laughs> We've already caught him in our trap a while back with an incredibly powerful, definitive piece of evidence. Hey, hey, Earth to Mr. Prosecutor, care to speak in English? What are you talking about? What piece of evidence? The piece I speak of is, of course, this drop of blood. But we know that happened to be dumb! <laughs> don't see how it remains relevant to the case at all. Miss Von Karma, I believe that's exactly why it's important to the case. And the part that is the most important is the fact that it's not the victim's blood. 
You're looking a little pale. Is it because you miss, you're missing a little blood? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Then I believe you're already aw already aware of what I mean. <laughs> then you know who the blood belongs to. <laughs> of course I do. This piece of evidence is the irrefutable proof that will stop the killer in its tracks. The blood that soiled this box of hot dogs belongs to this person. Big <laughs> <laughs> gumshoe. The blood of the rising sun on this box belongs to you, Quirkus Alba. Grr. What? I, what? You guys, are, you guys are a little too surprised. Yeah. What is his blood? He was Why in. You guys, he was blood? in the room and has a. Jesus Christ. We're all victims, Kay. The blood fell onto the box when Mr. Cochin's body was being loaded into the push cart. At that time, only two people in the dressing room, the only two, were the victim and his killer. So that's what you mean. If the blood doesn't belong to the victim. Then there is only one other person it could belong to. Yes, and that person is the murderer himself. That's the only logical conclusion. But Mr. Cochin was the only one who stabbed... Uh... <laughs> Why would Mr. Alba be the one who would bleed thee? What if during the murder, Mr. Cochin had fought back? You mean if before Mr. Alba could kill him, Mr. Cochin managed to wound Mr. Alba? Yes, and I believe we possess a piece of evazines that, <laughs> that proves why he was bleeding thee. What is the piece of evidence that shows Mr. Alba was probably bleeding at the team? Present the piece of Aziz. <laughs> I thought it was the... Oh. Stab wound. Hot dog box. Mr. Alba, you bear on your body a great wound. And it's not that just that was from when Damask the Second attacked me with a pair of scissors. Yeah, that happened way after he was in the dressing room. Ah, uh, but is that what really happened? You could manufacture a weapon by smearing blood on it, so I guess I can't just accept that as fact. Shall we try a test, Mr. Alba? Stab. Let's see if the shape of your wound matches the scissors. Objection! You really are something else, Mr. Edgeworth. You don't let a single thing slip you by, no matter how insignificant the possibility. <laughs> You're one to talk, Mr. Alba. You've managed to give the law the slip for ten years. Just in this evening alone is what it's felt like. No matter the danger, you can hide every last ounce of fear and anxiety from everyone. You truly are a one-of-a-kind criminal. <laughs> I am the master of my fear. However, to think that a person such as you could miss such a large thing. You believe I... You didn't... You think you've comprehended the size of my floater? Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> You said that my wound was caused by Mr. Coach. <laughs> the thing you believe to be a diaper is hardened floaters. Oh my god, I hope it was Pollyanna who stabbed him. <laughs> and that's what it was caused here in the... For the boo -boo -boo. Yes, yep. that's correct. I'd like to point out that it's true. I'll go to jail now. <laughs> 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 and one could have only come from a blade. I wonder where you will propose that such a weapon came from. It was the fucking key. If only we knew the key to this mystery. There must have been someone other, other way to He's sneak in some asleep. weapon. Ah, but as long as you can't prove what that other way is, or you will talk about Mr. Cochin stabbing me as pure nonsense. So if that other way does exist, you'd better hurry up and tell me now. Okay. With pleasure. Wait, what? Yeah, no, you you ain't slick. Here, it's this. You know what, this might be the last evidence, so I will read it. This piece of evidence shows us how Mr. Cochin brought a weapon into this theater. Among law enforcement, this piece is known as the Yatagorosu's Key. That key! That's right. This key That's is a the knife. Key that my father stole from here seven years ago. And it's a very it unique. Is very. Oops. In that. that is... Oh, you already know about it, I see. In that it is both a key and a knife. And the knife is a key. Meaning that under the guise of a key, it could have easily been a key. 
You couldn't dispose of the knife that stabbed you. Why not? Therefore, you wiped off the blood and placed it in back in Mr. Cochin's pocket. After all, the key itself opens the safe in his office. Inside that safe, there was a document about Kadopian papers, signed by Mr. Cochin. In order to make it look like Mr. Cochin died as the leader of the smuggling ring, you had to make it so that the police were the ones who opened that safe. <laughs> All that hard work to save yourself only served to destroy you in the end. Shall we try matching this knife's blade with your wound, Mr. Quirkus Alba? Stab. <laughs> you see, my chest has a revolving secret door. <laughs> And the that is what some may call the coup de grace. Impossible. You, you can't take me down. Swine, all of you. Especially Manny Cochin. This is all because of that man's betrayal. He sought to steal control of the smuggling ring from me by removing me as ambassador. Which is why he deserved to die while bearing the guilt for all of my crimes for me. That's why I sent out the Yatagrasu's card, and how this incident was born. Manny was supposed to be the smuggling ring's leader, who was killed by the Yatagrasu. But I had yet another reason, yet another story that was supposed to play out. Let me tell you about it in five testimonies. Manny's death was supposed to bring everything to a close, and I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling prosecutors. And your whatever she is to top quality writing. I, if you could see my cursor, I just moved it up to the close application window. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Alba, I'm afraid there's one more question I forgot to ask. This country's or Alabast's? Which country's court would you like to face first? Either way, it's game over for you. <laughs> And we are Oh, that was super lame. No. <laughs> Luckily, that was an event that could have happened. <laughs> I shot him. <laughs> Phew, that was a big day, uh, Mr. Alabast's trial today, huh? Eh? And next week he's been scheduled to stand trial in his own country of Alabast. Francisca's heading that one. I suspect she'll be serving it full course of whiplashes. Et, 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 fuck. Having to face Miss Von Karma in court right after facing you, sir. What is he, Phoenix White? Sh Shudder! <laughs> I would even want to think about what it would be like. I caught a glimpse of Mr. Alba, he being escorted to the courtroom. <laughs> and boy, he looked about as glum as I did the day I day before I got my monthly paycheck. You so know, it, I've been thinking, I know, a stretch. <laughs> that, flight, <laughs> that flight attendant, and even Mr. Portsman. Portsmen were all Mr. Alba's secret agents. Correct. That smuggling ring was the common thread between all of these terrible cases. Miss Cammy Meal was trying to provide support during smuggling ops using her job as an attendant, and Mr. Portsman was to manipulate trials related to the ring to end in their favor. Oh, uh, I fly <laughs> airline. <laughs> and even the prosecutor's office. No one was safe from the smuggling ring, huh, sir? I suspect there were even more members of this ring spread throughout the world. Yeah, that sounds like such a big op that I couldn't even begin to imagine what it's like. Ugh. Hmm? <laughs> what is it, Detective? I tried to think it hurt. Oh, nothing, it's just... Well, come to think of it. Mr. Ernest Alm... Um... Domingo. Mr. Ernest <laughs> Evans. <laughs> My Ernest <laughs> Amigo. <laughs> Trial is almost scheduled for late today, sir. I'm aware of that. Mist Mr. Amano has been working with the smuggling ring for over ten years. He used the Amano group's various connections worldwide. What do you what do they do exactly? They never said to assist the ring. But all of that has come to an end as his conglom um 
as his conglomerate is now undergoing harsh scrutiny. I owe Mr. Romano a debt of gratitude. No, I don't. We never established what that was about either. Good job, game. But he must pay his debt to society. Well, with the arrests of both Mr. Alma and Mr. Amigo, I guess both <laughs> wrapped up the K-8 incident as well, huh? I suppose so. The real killer in the KG-8 incident ten years ago was Manny Cochin. And seven years ago, the killer in the second KG-8 incident was Mac Rell. Those two facts are the unshakable truth. However, it seems that a lot of effort was put into hiding these and other truths from us. And I will expose it all at the trials today. You're serving cases left and right today, aren't you, sir? CCU and Dade Man! Perhaps now these two brave souls who tried to make the truth known can rest in peace. CCU didn't exist! No, CCU was real. It's just that um, Callisto wasn't really her sister. Oh, okay. Her sisto. <laughs> By the way, I received some um, some gifts from Ambassador Pagliano. Shrimp, crab, beef. I don't need any of these, so I'm giving them to you. I get Food? Uh, what? Seriously, I sir? I get to eat? Oh, boy. Oh, wait, actually, I don't what think I want them about? anymore. The way you're holding them. Don't tell me they're just coupons, sir. Detective Gumshoe, have you not read the paper recently? Ever since the two countries became Kadopia again, its economy has changed. Really? And it yeah, seems that Ambassador Pagliano has reaped a few benefits of his own from it. He's been announced as the official ambassador of the newly reunited Kadopia. That's good. Ah, but what a pity. Even though every item he sent is a treasure, you don't seem that interested. Oh, this is probably Kay. Oh, what? Uh, I don't know who this is. Wait, that's not what I said! So, um, Mr. Edgeworth, please let me have them, sir. Actually, to come to think of it, where is Kay? How come she's still not here? <laughs> <laughs> Teleport's behind you. Hey, you gotta be more alert than that. Eek! I can't believe you didn't notice. I was even mimicking Mr. Edgeworth's voice for a bit. I totally didn't notice you, or realize that voice was you. So, I, I would have loved to hear that, Siv. Can we hear you as Kay as Edgeworth? Okay, go back. How do we go back? I can't go back. Oh, shit. Well, well I'm, I'm sure everyone usually gets an epilogue, so I'm sure Kay will talk again. Lang Z says, ferocious love blues with each new spring. Agent Lang, a pleasant surprise to see you here. It's been a long time since I set foot in a courthouse, but I wasn't going to miss. Watching the guy who screwed up my country finally get what's coming to him. Well, that is something else. I want to see you in action in court. Is that so, Agent Lang? We flush out all the counterfeit bills and the floaters, <laughs> so Zang Fa is finally at peace again. So you want to go on a date? So, and it's all thanks to you, so I just want to say thanks. Wow! Oh, wait. Wow, I never thought I'd see the day. Oh, Wolfie says thanks to Mr. Edgeworth. That's all I get. That's all I'm doing. That's pretty good. I should be the one thanking you, Agent Lang. If you hadn't negated Mr. Alba's extraterritorial rights, then nothing would have changed. They were actually moot because none of that happened in Alabas, so it doesn't matter. I would not have been able to bring him to trial. How the fuck did you do that, by the way? I believe the victory in this case belongs to both of us. Tuh. <laughs> A shared victory, huh? Look, don't get me wrong, I'll still never forgive you prosecutors. And I have zero interest in that truth thing you talk about in court. I've always done things my own way, and that's not about to change, you got that? <laughs> I see. Well, I believe you should follow your own creed when you do your job. Which is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and if there's ever someone your precious truth can't catch, I'll feel free to sit around. Feel free to sit around and cry about it all you want. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I love, like, this game is trying to do, like, a, you should always stick to the law system and the truth, but then it forces you to pick the bad, like, the, the renegade yeah, route. Yeah, I, that's, yeah, I, I know that happened before I got on tonight, but that's one of my, of the many bad things in that game, that is one of my least favorite, because I was like, are you fucking, fucking serious? This, yeah. is, this is what you're asking me to do? And then I you don't even the... do it, so you just go back on your principles <laughs> and don't reap the rewards. Yeah. But as for me, I'm going to get that person no matter what. <laughs> All right. It's about time for the trial to start. 
I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll be watching your performance in the gallery. I'm looking forward to this. I prefer the whole ton of t uh, t ticker tape for today's tr uh, victory, sir. What is that, like confetti? Yeah. You you come to me on the day and my daughter. My daughter is with my daughter, child. <laughs> Hope you got enough because I'm gonna call my man up as well. A modest amount of ticker tape goes a long way. <laughs> I think is that like paper string that you kind of see strung across the roof. Yeah. The scene shifts to the courtroom and the final act begins. I hope you're ready for fifty more testimonies. <laughs> It's the story of those who chose to dedicate their lives to the pursuit of the truth. Oh shit, it's out of scrolling. Prosecutors are those who seek a guilty verdict for the defendants that they meet. And to that end, you have no choice but to win by any means necessary. That creed was forced on me. No, it wasn't. However, I no longer think that's all we prosecutors are. And that is because... Be a coolers. What? Yeah, yeah. Empty. Yeah. Courtroom empty. It's the wrong day! I didn't need to be here! Even though I've only been away from the courtroom for a short time, I feel as though it's been a lifetime since I've set a foot in one. And today, more than any other day, I feel the fight within me rising. OBJECTION! Just Me? Practice. And then they usually have little character cut-ins during the credits. And it's probably gonna auto-scroll, so be ready! Oh, is he plain sick? No, he's, uh, tied up. Oh. I am really in Mr. Edgeworth's debt for the other day. Thanks to him, I'm still free to serve him in the friendly blue skies. Oh, so about my suitcases. I've been selling them on the internet, and they've become a real sensation- Really? Huh. <laughs> Thanks to the praise the art world has lavished on my work as being truly postmodern. The airline has chosen me to design their new line of iFly jo- Oh no! Oh, no. Just think, someday you'll be able to take a ride in my pink-walled, yellow-seated jet. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> the credits are actually 50 more testimonies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I barely remember this character's voice. Hi, Dave! That was it. <laughs> Edgeworth, ah, the rudeness of that man! <laughs> Because of him, my time and money is wasted. But more importantly, here, I have been able to get the treasure, the prima dox treasure of the Principality of Cordopia. It weighs a bit light in my hands, but the Ambassador Pagliano was most generous. Oh, he got conned? This game has the best soundtrack I in my opinion. I was the real bad guy. Doubt. <laughs> uh, stop hitting me. Stop it. We finally caught Agent Hicks's killer, and I was able to witness Mr. Alba's teary eyes. It feels so good to finally bring everything to a close. I received another offer from Interpol to work on other case in cooperation with them. However, they could not be in court, so wait. Hiya! Hmm. Kodopia's air is supposed to be very fresh, so my weep should find new vigor there. Stop hitting me. No. Oh boy, Meekins? <laughs> this little patrolman has been fired at <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> wish it ended <laughs> there. Since we found the gun I had dropped. But I haven't noticed that I have dropped my police badge too! I guess I what really broke the camel's back was that I couldn't find my badge! My little life is suddenly tripped into a dark black hole, sir! I think I'll go to the courthouse and file a complaint with the Ruffles, man! With the Pringles, man. <laughs> I was about to say, my favorite chips are Ruffles. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're oh, yeah, in you're this in game this too. game! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was actually, I was hoping, actually to... hoping to be in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to Mr. Escher and Fifth more, but I gotta get going and return to Europe. I still got a long way to go and a lot of stuff to study there. Next time, I'll help Mr. Escher on a case. I'm going to do it as a real forensic scientist. I'm sure he's going to need all the help I could give him, scientifically. And then she never did that. She was kind of cute. Yeah. She's cute, but I don't like her. All oh, right, this lady. Does, who voiced her? 
was you me. did, I think. Oh. Because the kidnapping was staged, I was let off easy. But I won't be going outside much anytime soon, but that's really okay. The only person I'm forever trapped in is the cage of love! The guard down at the detention center. Bagel well, cop. When he's on guard duty, he has such a cold look in his eyes, just like that prosecutor. Doki. Oh, God, stop it, Lauren! When will you ever learn to stop being a prisoner of love? Did someone say prisoner of love, baby? <laughs> I think that's one of their songs. Maybe I'm crazy. Jesus. Oh, okay, fine, dick. Gumshoe. <laughs> George. It appears there are all sorts of drama that takes place outside the courtroom. Since we judges are here day in and day out, I've only been outside twice. <laughs> Apparently, Mr. Edward teamed up with a thief and became a detective. Maybe I should team up with a bailiff and try to become a lawyer or something. I'd play that <laughs> game. <laughs> Get out of my office. I eat cans. <laughs> <laughs> cans of ladybugs. Whew! I barely escaped death yet again! I didn't record this case, sorry! Yeah, but the boy was lucky to have Mr. Edgeworth to help us out, huh? Yeah, but it's because I lost the key I got fired from my security guard job. Don't let it get down, get you down. You, you still got You're me. You're right, sir. I won't be sad. <laughs> I'm gonna pick myself up and get through this. I wonder what my oh, next wait, job should be. Away. Oh, this is actually kind of fun. Good job, localizers. Crunchy. I think I Kay's in the other investigations game. Oh, good. I guess Aram, you can take this guy. Thank you! Why not come to Codopia for your summer vacation? We have coupons aplenty! Right now, our embassy is proud to present our Let's Investigate a Murder Show! <laughs> Although, recreating that particular case has created a few small fires of its own. <laughs> then we had a few problems with the fire marshals, but the next event will be great! <laughs> it will be an attraction entitled Capture the Yadagurasu! Of course, I hope to enlist Kay's help in creating our latest attraction. I love that guy. Yeah. I'm also glad he didn't lie about anything because it just makes me love him even more. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, uh. good. This. <laughs> Boink. I can't believe that Mindy ditched me and went to Japan. But it's okay because that's because how this I met is me Japan. Before. We're planning to go to Paris soon and start a business. We're going to sell Blue Ocean Dogs. They'll sell like hot, hot cake hot dogs for sure. A blue hot dog in a blue bun. I guarantee it'll turn your tongue and your face blue. I know I'm not really the type to work a lot, or at all really, but... Oh, so I noticed that I really haven't been the guy in the blue suit at all recently. Oh, what's up? Well, the next time we meet, I'm gonna make him eat one of my dogs. Zip. It's Larry, blue. why is it blue? <laughs> Is Open that, up! Is that dog being suffocated? Uh, Glass, you might have to be bad again. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 Yo, Mr. Bad! I'm a wolf! <laughs> By the way, if you notice the elements of the ring will become moving. They're all fighting over who should succeed, over who should be the next boss. Although, to be honest, I wish I could forget I'd ever heard of that smuggly movie. <laughs> Langs, he says, thoroughly bite the poison stick from head to tail. No one runs afoul from the law and escapes the wolf's fangs. I'll get you all yet. Well, uh, quick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've begun noticing the gray hairs in my beard more. I'm thinking of retiring my mirror. I'm so happy you popped in at the last possible second. The last second. <laughs> well, I screwed up. Oh, I thought it was perfect. Oh, Glass, you have another shot. You oh, do. Shoot. <clears throat> I was 
the pink princess and the pink badger all in the span of two days. Talk about busy. But it's all right because I got a letter from my beloved AG Poo. Restraining order. Please take care of your hair, but when you wish to speak first, take off your headpiece. What does that mean by the last statement? It's not like I enjoy being under a headpiece every time I see him. It's an alien, and then there's some creepy fuzz pink animal, and then I was with pink princess, and a great hero just but ever since I'm a muddy young maiden, and then I started to show my hands, and then I was with George Sells. Terrible idea. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Hi, Rob. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Just Gosh. in time for the end of this terrible game. Oh, damn. Y'all still on this? Yeah. It's yeah, just... we are. Whoop. I feel so much better now that the trial is over. And always, your le legal prowess is top-notch, sir. Yeah, nothing beat the look on Mr. Alba's face when you revealed the ring's secrets. I was amazed. You're like a totally different person when you step into a courtroom. Miss Edgeworth always ten times furiouser in court. Based on the information Mr. Alba offered up, they begun large-scale operations to clean up the rest of the ring, which I'm happy to leave to Francisca and Agent Lang. Who? So what's your plan <laughs> now, Kay? Hmm. Oh, well, I've taken care of the creep who killed my father, so I'm not sure. <clears throat> Maybe I should actually hey. steal something. I know. Maybe I'll just keep on being me <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth's assistant. No thanks, I think I'll not be in the next trilogy. Bye. Fine, I'll steal Are you still stuff. trying to steal my job, pal? Just kidding, just kidding. I can't steal something important to you, Gummy. Oh. Phew, what a relief. Okay. Yep. Die. Pfft. Even after all that's happened, <gasps> are you still planning to become a great thief? Of course! But I don't want to tarnish the legend of the noble Yaragrasu. What What are you talking about? Shh. Literally, Stop. one of them was what a murderer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to hold off on doing anything until I make a tight three-person team of my own. I'm out. I'm <laughs> out! A three-person team? Shit, looks like I gotta call old Bag and Larry. A three-person team of young beauties the same age as me is possible. Finally, Lada, Larry, and old Bag team up. <laughs> With those criteria, I highly doubt you'll find the other two people you need. Just take Maya and Emma. for the truth. I think that's what was so noble about him. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, the only things I will ever steal are the truths that have been hidden away. <laughs> I'm going to work extra hard to make a world where the Yarugurasu isn't needed. <laughs> Let's both strive for such a future. Well, I guess it's time for me to get going. I see. Kay! Keep your chin up and stay strong, okay? <laughs> <laughs> And don't be a stranger. Don't worry. I'll be back. I'll be sure to break the lock in the window and sneak in. If you could, I'd appreciate it if you came in through the building's front door. It's okay, Mr. Edgeworth. The lock on my window at home has been broken forever. Oh, one last thing before I go. Let's take a group picture. Just the three of us. No. For evidence. <laughs> yeah, the... Because there was a murder. Every big chance... <sighs> Every big case has an end with one. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, why not? Don't tell me you're camera shy, Mr. Edgeworth. Of course not, detective. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm taking the picture now. Hey, come back here. Mr. Yeah, Edgeworth, you can't run away from this, sir. Oh, I'm God, going to oh, get you. You can't hide who you are. Stop that. I can't be seen doing that, <laughs> Baka. Okay, I'm totally taking it now. Say cheese. It's auto advancing again, by the way. And thus, the long tale of the KG-8 incident came to a close. I saw the demise of a smuggling ring and the birth of a little great thief. But there is little time to rest and relax. For Nick got up to some bad shit. For I'm eager to tackle the investigation into a new case, I'm not. The reason for my eagerness is... My want to pursue the truth. And... My want to believe in the strength of those who use the power of, of the, the law for the good. Card. Percival King. As someone who has chosen to live my life as a prosecutor. That is my new creed. Not that the themes of this game were very cohesive. 
Ah! The key's going into my mouth, Kate! Yeah, Edgeworth looks like he's unhinging his jaw there to swallow her whole. My the next sprites appearance in this is... game, like the new sprites, have just be really big mouths. Ah. Yeah. All right, that was Ace Attorney Investigations. Uh, that was easily the worst Ace Attorney game I've played. Hooray! Far and away. Um, thank you everyone for voicing. I'm glad that everyone who ever contributed to it could be here for the big, terrible seven hours. I'm finale. glad I was only here for the second half of the Alba part. <laughs> and it was still like two hours. This Ooh, was a grand was total of five hours, I believe someone said. Holy crap. This whole case is like 13 hours long and it has the meat of like a, maybe a four hour case. Oof. Oof, F, oof. F, F, F. F. Yeah, this is my least favorite case I've played in the series. F minus. F minus. What other <laughs> Ace Attorney minus. games will I stream? Maybe far in the future I'll do Investigations too. Hopefully with it's some of the same better. Investigations crew. But, um, not for a while. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to play Leighton vs. Ace Attorney? Uh, I might. I, 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 I want to is like I guess I could probably that's 3DS isn't it I don't think I'd I'd yeah. I could like, hear Captain Saibon even in English yet? No, I don't think it is. Yeah, no, I don't I don't think it's ever being ported. Yeah, no, I would have bought that like the date. Yeah, they, me too. They have the JoJo problem of they can get away with blatantly using right, like Sherlock names thing. like Sherlock Holmes in Japan, but they can't anywhere else. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Uh. There's an English yes. patch, but like English version. I mean, like I might, I might try that. I actually really yeah. want to play that game. A lot of the character designs and music are really oh, fantastic. All the character designs in that and the aesthetic. That Gina is, like, Lestrade is like such a fucking Jello girl. Yeah, that's like my favorite aesthetic. That game is a it's solid. Look at G. fucking Baron von B Edgeworth Leggy. That oh. is that is super true. Yeah, no. Um, Which game is it? Uh, it's the great Ace Attorney. It's like the super far back prequel Sherlock Holmes one. Oh yeah, I heard that one's good. Yeah, I want to play it. There's a lot of it. Like, oof. For anyone who this was their first foray into Ace Attorney, this is so much worse than most of the series. I pop in in the worst times of all these things. It's uh, this one's the worst one. Go look at the other one. Miles Legwork. That's, yes! that's really funny. I might steal that as a passing that's jab excellent. at this game. Yeah, I thought Sherlock Holmes was, like, public domain. <laughs> I, nope. I did, like, the bits oh, where yeah, you're running around and get stuck. Yeah. Like, eh. Those it, were good, yeah. Okay. Um. I'm scared. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Peep. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm going to call it there. Maybe we'll do this again with a different game in the future, because I really like voice acting with friends. I just hope the game is better next time. Uh, bye! Try the fireplace! Toodles.